In an era of rampant individualism and digital distractions, the traditional family is under more pressure than ever. If present trends continue, it'll soon be gone forever. Dead wrong. We've always worried about the family. In 1928, the famous psychologist John Watson feared that marriage would be dead by 1977. In 1977, prominent sociologist Amitai Etzioni said that by the 1990s, not one American family will be left. But there were. And plenty of scholars who said that now we will be facing the end of the line decline of the family. But since then, the divorce rate has declined, as has uh, teen pregnancy and teen crime. And we spend more time with our families today. A study of 11 rich countries showed that the average mother spends twice as much time a day caring for children as she did in 1965. The average father, four times as much. Family life is always changing, and so are our troubles. But change is not the same as decline. The problem is that we always compare real-life struggles to make the family work with an idealized image of a past perfect family. Something like the Victorian era, when we had the family as a haven in a heartless world. But as historian John Gillis has showed, the Victorians invented the idea of family decline, because they feared that urbanization and work outside of the household would destroy the traditional family. So the Victorian era was the worst, according to the Victorians. Wait, don't forget to subscribe to our channel here and watch these other videos. And check back next Wednesday for a new Dead Wrong from Free to Choose Network.